Hi, um, I'm Ines. I'm a PhD student here at the Department of Radiology in Cambridge, working on kidney cancer metabolic uh, MRI uh, with uh, Ferdia Gallagher as my supervisor and um, starting my third year now. I'm otherwise a clinician. I've studied uh, medicine in Vienna, uh, but I'm, I'm from Slovenia originally. Hi, I'm Nikita Sushinsev. I'm also a PhD student here at the department, a final year PhD student working on metabolic imaging of prostate cancer. So I work primarily with Tristan Barrett and Ferdi Gallagher as well. And by way of background, I'm also a clinician and I did my undergraduate training in Moscow. Well, that's quite a long story, but I'll try to cut it short. When I was an undergraduate in Moscow, I came here as part of a UK-Russia exchange program funded by the British Embassy in Moscow. And I did two undergraduate summer studentships with Tristan Barrett and to some extent with Ferdi Gallagher as well. And I had some experience working at the department, working with prostate imaging. And then when the time came, I knew there was a grant available and I was offered to come here as a PhD student and I got a scholarship thanks to the support of my supervisors. And that's how I ended up here. So I didn't really think twice when I was offered this great opportunity. And myself, I've always been interested in radiology, but more researching on radiology. I've been involved in a very um, interesting research project in Aarhus, where I did my um, Erasmus previously. It was on prostate cancer, and the next step of this actually was imaging then, because it was connection of both, so I was interested in oncology as well. And uh, yes, this was a perfect blend, actually, when I discovered this PhD uh, project here under uh, Ferdia Gallagher. Um, offering exactly this, so kind of novel uh, techniques in um, oncology, ecological imaging, and uh, yeah, I, I've, I've applied and uh, yeah, tried my luck. <laughs> um, so, as I mentioned in the previous um, question, that I am very interested in connecting different things together, oncology and radiology, for example, this is something that I've enjoyed so far really the most. Uh, so the department is very multidisciplinary. For example, I'm working on a big trial trying to evaluate uh, some treatments in kidney cancer. And for this, we're collaborating together with surgeons, with uro, uh, urological surgeons, with uh, oncologists, and not to say the whole radiology department consists of MRI physicists, uh, biochemists, um, well, chemists, biologists, uh, clinicians. Um, yeah, it's just this aspect I, I really enjoy the most because you can connect across the disciplines, build bridges in a way. So, and then this brings a better, I would say, also innovation or better science of, of, to to this. I would certainly agree with what Ines has been saying. I think Cambridge is a pretty unique place that offers mm. you access to people from so many walks of life, so many expertise available here. And I think in order to really do cutting edge research, you need exactly that. But I'd like to highlight maybe another aspect that I enjoy the most. And I think in our department, what you have is really the academic freedom, the freedom of thought and freedom of initiative, because we really do have the pleasure of working with people who are incredibly supportive, supportive of your ideas. And in your PhD, you are free to actually shape the way it goes and the way it develops. If you have a certain specific idea, how you take it forward, you come to your supervisors, they're also very supportive. And then you tap into that multidisciplinarity and you approach all these people we're working with on campus. And essentially any idea you have within the scope of your work, it can be realized. And I think that's absolutely extraordinary. And if you're a person who you know, likes being um, at the forefront of initiative, I think that's the right place for you to be. Oh, I cannot agree with that more. And it also goes in hand in hand in a way, because um, so the multidisciplinarity and uh, academic freedom, right, that you can get different ideas from different aspects and connect all of it together and uh, just come with be up with better ideas even and Certainly. take this forward and get a lot of support in the way uh, as well. Yeah. I don't know, what would you say? <laughs> well, I think my advice is simple. Don't think twice. <laughs> I think if you're interested in applying, just go to the website, read about what yeah. people are doing and if anything fits your interest, just try and contact them. Just email them. I think everyone's pretty responsive in the department. Yes, They're true. always happy to arrange a visit. Yeah, yeah. You can come on site if you have the opportunity, talk to the people who work here, get to learn more about what they're doing and see whether it fits for yourself and then just apply. If you want to reach out, don't 
yeah, don't hesitate for it. You know, so. Yeah, don't hesitate because everyone's so supportive and also exactly, yeah. applying for a PhD in Cambridge is not about research you're doing at the department, it's also about the experience you get from the university, which mm. is, you know, difficult to match anywhere. It's the college life, it's the university experience, which is quite unparalleled. So that's another perk of being here that you have to think about. And don't forget to attend the virtual open day on 2nd of November. We're going to be there. Yep. <laughs>